Hi, learners. Welcome to Cavdel Lessons. I am Susanna Janil London, your English language teacher. Today, our topic in English language is on nouns and a type of noun called proper noun. By the end of the lesson, that is our objective, you will be able to say what proper nouns are. Let's say it again. Say what proper nouns are. Two, use proper nouns in sentences. Again, use proper nouns in sentences. What are proper nouns? I believe in your previous lessons, you've learned about nouns. And what are nouns? Nouns are naming words of persons, places, and things. And today, the topic is on proper noun, a type of noun. And what are proper nouns? Proper nouns are particular names of persons, places, things, months, days of the week, festivals, rivers, and lakes. Proper nouns begin with capital letters and can be found at any part of the sentence. Again, proper nouns are particular names of persons, places, things, months, days of the week, festivals, rivers, and lakes. And also, proper nouns begin with capital letters and can be found at any part of the sentence. Examples of proper nouns. We are taking it one by one. Names of persons. Mrs. Mary Eshan. This is a particular name given to a lady or a woman. And it begins with capital M, Mrs. Capital M for Mary and Eshan, capital E. Because the name is a proper noun, a particular name given to a person. The next name is Mr. Taylor Bannerman. This is a particular name given to a man or a gentleman. The name begins with capital M, Mr. Taylor, capital T, Bannerman, capital B, because it is a proper noun, a particular name given to a person. Another name is Cynthia. As you are in this class, each one of you has a name. And what is your name? Cynthia is also a proper noun because it begins with capital letter. The next person, yes, Martha. Martha is also a name for a girl or a woman. It begins with capital M because it's a particular name given to a person. Yes, what about you? Boy, Peter. Okay, we didn't call you boy, but you have a particular name that you are used to be called, Peter. It begins with capital P for Peter because it's a proper noun, a particular name given to a boy. Mark, capital M, a name of a boy, particular name. Begins with capital M, Mark, because it's a proper noun. Noun. All those names we mentioned were names of persons. Now we have examples of names of towns. We have names of particular towns, like Yendi. It's a particular name given to a town, and it starts with capital Y, because the name of a particular town called Yendi, 
and it's a proper noun. The next town is Bolgatanga. It begins with capital B, Bolgatanga, because it's a proper noun. It starts with capital letter B. Suhum is also a particular name given to a place, Suhum, a town called Suhum. It begins with capital S and it's a proper noun. Akusi begins with capital A. It's a particular name given to a town and it's a proper noun. Tafu, a town beginning with capital T. Tafu, a name of a particular place beginning with capital T and it's a proper noun. Commenda is a particular name given to a town. It starts with capital K because it's a proper noun. We have names of places. Examples are these. We have Boti Falls. The place is a tourist site and it's a particular place and it has a name Boti Falls, a particular name given to that place and it begins with capital B because it's a proper noun. Brimsu, where we have our water reservoir, is a particular name given to that place. It begins with capital B because it's a proper noun. Ankafo Hospital. There are a lot of hospitals, but this particular hospital has a particular name, Ankafo Hospital, and it starts with capital A for Ankafo, capital H for hospital because it's a proper now, we also have Cape Coast Castle. It's a place for tourist site. It begins with capital letters, a particular name given to that place. Cape, capital C, Coast, capital C, Castle, capital C. And it's a proper noun, a name given to a place, a particular name given to a place. We have Osu Castle. That is also another place, a particular castle, a name given to it. Starts with capital O for Osu, capital C, castle, because it's a proper noun. Kakum National Park is also another place for tourist site and has a particular name. Kakum, capital K, national, capital N, park, capital K. P is a proper noun and it begins with proper uh, capital letters. We have names of things like Azar paint. There are a lot of paints, but this particular one has a name Azar paint. It starts with capital A for Azar, capital P for paint because it's a proper noun. Nizan truck is a type of a thing, a car. It has a particular name. There are a lot of trucks, but this one is Nizan truck, a particular name given to that truck. And it starts with capital N for Nizan, capital T for truck. And it's a proper noun. Another type of a thing. This is also a car, Mercedes Benz. It starts with capital M for Mercedes, Benz, capital B, because it's a proper noun, a particular name given to a car. We have Toyota car. That is another type of car. Having a particular name, Toyota car. It starts with capital T for Toyota car, capital C, because it's a proper noun. We have Samsung television. We have a lot of television with different brands. And this particular one has Samsung television, a particular name given to the thing or a television. It begins with capital S for Samsung, capital T for television, because it's a proper noun. Another thing we can see on the screen, what is it? Pepsi Cola. A type of drink 
it has a particular name, beginning with P for Pepsi and Cola, capital C. Capital P, capital C. Capital P for Pepsi, capital C for Cola. It's a proper noun, and it starts with capital letters. Now, we have different days and different months of the year. This type of name of the month, we have a lot of names, and that is January. It's a particular name given to a month in the year, January. It starts with capital J because it's a particular name given to that month, and it's a proper noun. We have February. It starts with capital F, February, because it's a particular name given to a, a particular month. It begins with capital F because it's a proper noun. March, also a particular name given to a month. It starts with capital M because it's a proper noun, a name given to a month. We have April, that also begins with capital A for April because it's a particular name given to that month, and it's a proper noun. May, June, July, August, all starts with capital letters, because they are proper nouns. We have September, October, November, December, all start with capital letters, because they are proper nouns, and they begin with capital letters. Now, let's look at other examples. We have names of the days of the week. How many days do we have in a week? Seven days. And each day has a particular name for that. Let's see. This is Sunday. A particular name given to a particular day. It starts with capital S. Sunday is a proper noun. Monday, Tuesday are all names given to the days. Monday with capital M, Tuesday with capital T, and it's a proper noun. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are all particular names given to the days. Wednesday capital W, Thursday capital, capital T, Friday capital F, because they are proper nouns. We have Saturday. That also is a name given to a particular day, and it starts with capital S. And that is Saturday, and it is a proper noun. Names of the days of the week. We have other names for festivals. Names of festivals. Many festivals are celebrated in the country, and they all have particular names. For example, we have Ramadan celebrated by the Muslims, a festival. It starts with capital R because it's a particular name given to that festival. Christmas, celebrated by Christians. It has a particular name, Christmas, and it begins with capital C, and it's a proper noun. Homo is also a type of festival celebrated by the people of Ghana. It begins with capital H because it's a proper noun, a particular name given to that festival. We have Easter, also for Christians. It starts with capital E because it's a proper noun. Fetu Afeshe, a festival celebrated by people of Cape Coast. Fetu Afeshe, a particular name given to that festival. And it starts with capital F for Fetu, Afashe, capital A, because it's a proper noun. A butcher for people of Sultan begins with capital A, a butcher, and that is a particular name for that festival, and it's a proper noun. We have other names given to particular rivers and lakes. There are a lot of rivers and lakes but they are given particular names, and they all begin with capital letters because they are proper nouns. We have example river Oti. The river begins with capital R, 
and the O, O-T, capital O, because it's a particular name given to that river, and it's a proper noun. River Tano begins with capital R and Tano, capital T. It's a particular name given to that river, River Tano, and it's a, particu uh, a particular name and a proper noun. River Finn, River Volta are all particular names given to those rivers, and they all begin with capital letters. We have lakes, particular names for lakes. Example, Lake Bosomchi is a particular name beginning with capital letters, and it's a proper noun. River Pra and others. Now, we have some proper nouns in sentences, and let's see how the sentences goes. One, this is a shan, traveled to Sinyani yesterday. We are going to underline the proper nouns in this very sentence. Yes, this is a shan. Is it a proper noun? Yes, because it's a particular name given to a woman, and she's Mrs. Mrs. Ishan. It starts with capital M for Mrs. Ishan, capital E. And she traveled to Sunyani. It's also a particular town. Sunyani it starts with capital S, and it's a proper noun. Let's go to the next sentence. Let's find out the proper nouns in that sentence. River Pra. As we said, it's a particular name given to that river. And it starts with capital R for river and P for Pra. And it's a proper noun. In the next sentence, let's identify the proper nouns in that. Yes, Mr. Taylor Mensa. This is also a particular name given to a gentleman or a man. It begins with capital, capitals. Mr. Mensa Atta, Mr. Atta Mensa. Capital M for Mr. Taylor, capital T, and E Mensa, capital A, and it's a proper noun. Now he's a lecturer at University of Cape Coast. We have a lot of universities. And this particular one is University of Cape Coast. It starts with capital U for University, Cape Coast, capital C for Cape, Coast, capital C. Begin with capital letters because it's a proper noun. Now, in the next sentence, we have Accra is the capital of Ghana. Let's underline the capital, the proper nouns in the sentence. Accra begins with capital A because it's a particular name given to the capital city of Ghana. Accra is a proper noun. It begins with capital A. And Ghana is a country we are in. It's a particular name given to a country. And it starts with capital G. And it's a proper noun. Let's go to the next sentence. Yes, Kwame is my elder brother. Kwame is my elder brother. Let's underline the, cup, uh, the proper noun in the sentence. Yes, Kwame. And this name also is a particular name given to a boy or a man. And it starts with capital K because it's a proper noun. Noun. As we go on reading the sentence, you try your best to underline their proper nouns in the sentence. A market, we have many markets, and we have a particular type of market. For example, Mankesim market. Mankesim market. Eh? Ma market days in Mankesim are on Wednesdays and Saturdays. How many proper nouns do we have in? We have the market, Mankesim, Wednesday, a particular name given to a day, and Saturday, a particular name given to a day. All begin with capital letters, and they are proper nouns, right? Let's go to the next sentence. 
during Christmas, most children dress nicely. Let's find out the proper noun in this sentence. Christmas, as we said already, is a particular name given to a festival, and that is Christmas. It starts with capital C, and it's a proper noun. With the next sentence, we have our school Mary Queen of Peace will reopen on the 18th of January. Now let's underline, let us underline the proper noun in the sentence. Mary Queen of Peace. It's a particular name given to a school and it's a proper noun. It starts with capital M for Mary, Queen, capital Q, and then Peace, capital P. And then we have the day of reopening or the month of reopening, January. And that also starts with capital J and it's a proper noun. I hope you've understood what we are doing and you understand what proper nouns are. They begin with capital letters always and they can be found at any part of the sentence. For example, if we read sentence one, we have market, it starts in the sentence. We have Mankesim at the middle of the sentence. Wednesday is in the, within the sentence, and Saturday at the end of the sentence. Let's see sentence two. During Christmas, most children dress nicely. We have festival Christmas in the middle of the sentence. And the next sentence, our school, Mary, Queen of Peace, will reopen on the 18th of January. We can see the proper noun in the middle of the sentence. And January is at the end of the sentence. This simply means proper nouns can be found at any part of the sentence, right? Some are in the middle, at the end, and at the beginning. As for market, mankesim in the middle, Saturday at the end, Christmas in the middle, Mary Queen of Peace in the middle, January at the end, and all these are proper nouns, right? Now you can read with me. Lake Bosomchi is a nice place for tourists to visit. That also, let us see where we can find the proper noun. Yes, Lake Bosomchi, because it's a proper noun, it begins with capital letters. Lake, capital L, and Bosomchi, capital B. And it begins the sentence, and it's a proper noun. Let's go to the next sentence. Muslims celebrate Ramadan every year. Muslims is a particular name given to particular people. Yes, therefore it's a proper noun, right? Okay, in that very sentence, we see Ramadan in the middle of the sentence, starting with capital R, particular name given to a particular festival, and it's a proper noun. We see it at the middle of the sentence. Now, from all that we've learned about proper nouns, we now know what proper noun is and things that you can look at to identify the type of proper noun in a sentence, right? So, from all that we've learned, we have to test ourselves to see how best we've understood what proper nouns are, when to use them, and where we can place them. Now, before then, let's see what we can take home as homework and then practice to see how best we've understood the lesson. Now, homework, underline the proper nouns in this, in this passage. Underline the proper nouns in this passage. Mr. John Bedu visited St. Martin's Secondary School in Insawom. He was impressed with the work of the headmaster. 
Mr. Martin Mensa, who always made sure that the teachers in the school work very hard from Monday to Friday. He praised the headmaster and gave him a Samsung television set. Now, from this short passage or paragraph, you are to underline the proper nouns in the sentences. That is your homework. And from what we've learned, I believe it will be easier for you to underline all the proper nouns in this short paragraph or passage. When you have any problem, go back to the lesson we've learned, read over carefully, and that will help you to do the homework. Until then, it's bye-bye.